Good morning again, everyone. We are back right now at 852 with breaking news. As we've been telling you, there is a situation going on right now at Olmstead Falls High School. Yeah, it's been unfolding for the last hour at the school along Bagley Road. You see it here on the map. Terrence Lee is live at the command center at the Board of Education, which is near the middle and high school. So, Terrence, what are you finding now? Yeah, they actually the command center is just in front of the high school and they've actually just moved the media back. Uh, they're moving us a block away from the school. So there are a ton of fire trucks outside the school. They just told me that there was a bomb threat. Right now, dogs are sniffing through the school, checking, um, and that they're going to be briefing us uh, in a few minutes, uh, close to around 9 o'clock, to give us a, a full update. But, yes, the students have been bused to the middle school uh, resident on Glenbrook Drive, where they have us, uh, where they have the media. She told us she could hear uh, the loudspeakers uh, telling the students to evacuate, get out of the school. But again, bomb sniffing dogs are now going through Olmstead Falls High School after a bomb threat. We don't know if it was electronic or written somewhere on the school, uh, but yes, a uh, bomb threat has been reported at the high school. Back here. And, and Terrence, as you look around, I mean, the Olmstead Falls is kind of a fringe suburban community, um, just right on the border of rural. Is it is what you're seeing Olmstead Falls uh, officials, or are they getting the help from from neighboring officials? I'm seeing Olmstead Falls uh, police. There's a police officer directing traffic uh, near the front of the high school. Uh, residents, some are outside of their homes, looking, trying to figure out what's going on, asking me what's going on. Uh, but definitely seeing a lot of emergency official presence out here, Macy. Yeah, Olmstead Falls is south of North Olmstead, just to give everybody a locator there. Also, Terrence, uh, a, a big question, too. Do we know, and you might not have been able to talk to investigators about this, but sometimes when this happens, they might have found some kind of device. Do we know whether that's the case or it's just, just a threat? Yeah, all we know right now is that dogs are going through the school right now, uh, checking every hallway, every classroom, the gymnasium, everything's being checked right now. All right, Terrence, we know that you want to get the, uh, the latest information, so we're going to let you go for right now so you can gather some more information. Um, but what we're hearing is, is that everything worked as it seems this district had, has planned for a situation like this. Uh, loudspeakers went out, even loud enough so that even neighbors could hear. And then very quickly, these kids were evacuated from the high school to a middle school, which is very close. Yeah, and there's also a, a stadium nearby, Bulldog Stadium. And the question is, because you remember when they had bombed threats when we were kids right everybody goes outside they check the school and come back in here mm -hmm. they bus the kids uh, or at least sent the kids to the middle school which is nearby let's check in with Kristen Byrne right now Kristen hey Mike yeah the scene here at the middle school is very chaotic a lot of parents concerned not knowing what's going on uh, hearing it either from us the radio or whatnot so they're coming to the middle school frantically trying to get uh, their kids pick their kids up because we've been telling you the students are being bused from the high school to the middle school so the buses continue to come in here now I'm seeing a lot of cars of parents here are wanting to pick up their high school students uh, from what we know according to students again this has not been confirmed by police but students are telling me that at 7.50 a.m., so 7.50 a.m., a fire drill went off throughout the school. They were told, this is a fire drill. You need to go to the stadium, to the school stadium. This is at the high school. So all the high school students packed into the, into the stadium and the bleachers there. Then there's a student telling me it got more serious. They were told this is more serious, uh, but they were not not in fact told that this was a bomb scare or a bomb threat. Uh, some of the students finding that out and telling me. Um, so I'm talking with parents. They say, I'm a little concerned here because there was no alert. There was no notification given to me. Uh, so you can imagine how frantic and worried these parents are as we um, encounter them here at the middle school. So very interesting. It sounds like that these parents are hearing about this from their students, um, their, their children, uh, I guess, over the, over the phone and texting and asking texting. parents to show up. Uh, yes. So a lot of the kids, you said, have already been bused to the school. Have you seen any of them getting off of the bus? And if so, what is their demeanor? Yes, I, I interviewed a couple of high school seniors uh, from Olsen High School. Um, they're nervous. They said it was scary. They don't know what's going on. I think we literally approached them as they got off the buses and were going home with their parents. So for now, um, the parents, of course, are, are seem to be more worried. They're just a little confused about what's happened. Uh, the two students I spoke with, Macy, they just seemed shocked 
Uh, they were just like, I don't know, there was a fire drill, according to this one student, and they rushed us here, and she's like, I, you know, from what we know, it's, it's a bomb scare, someone wrote something on a bathroom stall. This is all according to students, so, you know, this is, the school has not confirmed that, but at least we've heard it from several parents and several students that it was a bomb threat, a bomb scare, some threatening message was written on a bathroom stall. All right, thank you so much, Kristen, and we're going to have more information on Newsnet5.com. Also here, if it really is that serious,